good morning dear students welcome to grade 8 this is your first science class and we will start with chapter 1 the chapter name is crop production and management as the chapter name is crop production and management the first question comes in mind what do you mean by the word crop so the crop means when plants of the same kind is grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale it is known as a crop so the same kind of plants grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale it is known as a crop okay according to seasons there are two types of crops kharif crops and rabi crops the crops which are sown in the rainy season are called kharif crops the time period is generally from june to september and the examples are paddy maize soybean groundnut and cotton the crops which are sown in winter season are called rabi crops the time period is generally from october to march the examples are wheat gram pea mustard and linseed the difference between kharif crop and rabi crops kharif crops grown in a rainy season and rabi crops are grown in winter season the time period is for kharif crop month of june to october and for rabi crops from november to april examples are paddy soybean maize cotton etc and for rabi crops wheat gram okay pea mustard linseed etc clear next so here the images of kharif crops and rabi crops paddy maize soybean cotton okay here wheat gram potato clear done okay now for growing and cultivating crop we need to follow some agricultural practices there are seven agricultural practices first is preparation of soil second is sowing adding manure and fertilizers irrigation protection from weeds harvesting and storage as you see in figure first comes preparation of soil then sowing adding manures and fertilizers irrigation weeding then harvesting then threshing and storage okay in today's lecture we will learn first two agricultural practices preparation of soil and sowing okay so first preparation of soil in the first step before growing a crop it is done to turn and loosen the soil this allows the root to penetrate deep into the soil this allows the roots to breathe easily when they go deep in the soil the earthworms as you know they are friends of farmers why they are friends of farmers because they turn and loosen the soil and head humus into it a few centimeters of top layer of the soil supports plant growth turning and loosening of the soil brings the nutrient rich soil to the top so that plant can use this nutrients thus it is important to prepare the soil see the first step of crop cultivation is the preparation of soil okay now the process of loosening and turning the soil is called tilling or plowing this is done by using a plow they are made up of wood or iron if the soil is very dry it may need watering before plowing the the plowed field may have big pieces of soil called crumbs it is leveled for sowing as well as for irrigation purposes the leveling is done with the help of leveler the main tools used for the purpose of tilling or are plow hoe and cultivator okay so first tool plow this is being used since ancient time for tilling the soil adding fertilizers to crop 
removing the weeds, scraping of soil, etc. This implement is made up of wood and it is drawn by a pair of bulls or other animals like horse or camels. It contains a strong triangular iron strip called plowshare. Two main components of plow, plowshare and plow shaft. It contains strong triangular iron strip called plowshare. The main part of the plow is long log of wood, which is called plow shaft. One pair of bulls can easily pull out it. Okay. Now. Two other components, cultivators and hoe. Nowadays, plowing is done by the tractor driven cultivator. The use of cultivator saves labor and time. It is simple tool. Hoe is a simple tool which is used for removing weeds and for loosening the soil. It has a long road of wood or iron. A strong, broad, and bent plate of iron is fixed to one of its bit ends and works like a blade. It is pulled by animals. Okay. Now, the second agricultural practice, sowing. Sowing is the most important part of crop production. Before sowing, good quality of seeds are selected. Now, what do you mean by good quality of seeds? Yes, good quality of seeds are clean and healthy, healthy seeds of a good variety. Farmers prefer to use seeds which give a high yield. High yield means high production. High production means high economic growth. Okay. Yes. Damaged seeds become hollow and are thus lighter. So they float on the water. Before sowing the seeds, one of the important tasks is to know about the tools used to sowing seeds. Appropriate distance between the seeds is important to avoid overcrowding of plants. This allows the plants to get proper sunlight, nutrients and water. So three steps, good quality of seeds, no damaged seeds and proper tools and appropriate distance okay clear next now the tools used for sewing first is traditional tools the tool used traditionally for sewing seeds is shaped like funnel the seeds are filled into the funnel passed through two or three pipes having sharp ends these ends pierce into the soil and place seed there it looks like Funnel is here, three and three pipes. Okay, done. And the traditional method of showing sharp ends, ox, pipe. Okay, clear. Next, the seed drill, modern tool. The seed drill is used for sowing with the help of tractor. It sows the seed uniformly, appropriate distance, uniformly, at proper distance and depth. It ensures that seeds get covered by the soil after sowing. Sowing by using it saves labor and time also. Now, interesting fact time. Seed of few plants such as paddy are first grown in a nursery. When they grow into plantlets, they are transplanted in the field manually. So they are grown in nursery first, then planted in field. Some forest plants and flowering plants are also grown in the nursery. Okay. Clear. Thank you. Goodbye.